3.2.23. In this case, as you can see, we have a fraction and two things on the denominator. We are going to use the quotient rule right away. So we'll proceed by using the, pro, uh, the quotient rule. F on the top, G on the bottom, write down G first. And in this case, we have B plus C. And here we still have the E to the X. And for the F function, F is equal to A. So as you can see in this case, you see a lot of variables like A, B, C. But the key is our function f of x. So the only variable that we're considering is x. The rest, the A, B, and C, they are just constants. They're just like numbers. You can think about A is like 5, B is like 2, and C is like 9 or things like that. Right? So I want to make a note right here. A, B, and C are just constants. They are just regular numbers, right? So, anyways, you write down f, f, you write down g and f, you write down g first for quotient rule, and you just go ahead and differentiate. Derivative of constant, derivative of b, is equal to zero. And for this part, c is just like you know a number like two or five, doesn't matter. Derivative of c e to the x is just c e to the x. And for f f is equal to a, the derivative of constant is just 0. Alright? And this is all we need. Now we are going to proceed. Use the quotient rule. f prime of x equals to, before I forget, let me square the denominator first, which is b plus c e to the x, and then square that. And I'm going to pair things up. I'll show you all the steps. Pair this up with 0 for this. So I will get parentheses b plus c e to the x parentheses times 0 and I'm going to subtract. I pair this up which is a. I'm going to pair up with that, multiply with that. So I subtract a times c e to the x just like that. And in here, notice that one part is actually extremely easy because this parenthesis is multiplied with 0, so of course this is pretty much 0, it doesn't matter, alright? And overall, what you have left on the top is just negative ac e to the x. Negative ac e to the x, or over that as the denominator, b plus c e to the x raised to the second power. The key right here is that you have to know what's constant, versus what's the variable. Once again, x is the variable. The rest is just constants. If you would like, think about a is like 5, b is like 2, or c is like 9 or 21. Doesn't matter. This is the answer. This is how we do it.